trunks are good. Anything over here is all good. Anything over here is all good. Obey the commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. When I call for a break, give me a clean break. Touch gloves. Let's go to work. Beautiful. Irving Gonzalez wearing the black and the silver, wearing the white with the red and the blue is Jonathan Gonzalez. Gonzalez is coming off of two straight victories by stoppage. Halted Francisco Miguel back on April 7th. And he's an explosive young man out just, of Worcester. Just 22 years of age. Yeah, had a long conversation with him and his dad. He said, please don't call him Junior. So I said, okay, I won't call you Junior. <laughs> but his dad, Senior, is his trainer. Um, real explosive. He said he, he's looking for a knockout. Well, he's got his hands full against Jonathan Perez, the 12-year-plus uh, pro who incidentally fought Abner Mades back nine years ago. Wow, yeah. Perez has been in with about four or five world champions. He's another one of these Colombian fighters with the big knockout record, but a very poor record when he comes to the United States. But he's a true veteran at 31. He's had a lot of fights. Yeah, oh, a nice uppercut fights. followed by a straight left hand by Gonzalez, and now he goes on the offensive. He's attacking one Jonathan Perez. But Perez answers back with the left hook of his own, but Gonzalez walks right through it. I like the body shots that Gonzalez is throwing. He's completing all his combinations with a body shot. And Steve, he fights tall. I mean, campaigning here in this weight class at 130 pounds, he fights tall. Some guys like to get involved in very close distance fights, a la Leo Santa Cruz, but it is Juan Gonzalez who is really using his distance. Doing it beautifully, and uh, two fights ago, he fought in Providence, I called that fight. He stole the show. This is a very, very good young fighter. The only thing I'm a little confused by is he's already switched to southpaw south yeah. and back about <laughs> five times, and yeah. we're not even two minutes into the fight. Well, I think it's there clear that he is the, he's an ambidextrous fighter, is one. Irvin Gonzalez, but Brian, you can attest to this. How important is it for him to sort of pick a stance in terms of where he's going to be? No, it's very pivotal. If I was his dad in his corner, I'll, I'll be screaming at him. Master one style. Dominate on one end. Switch if you have to. Only if you have to, but dominate on your conventional style. Anyways, now he went to conventional and left hook that got past the guard of Perez. You know, you guys use the word explosive to describe Gonzalez. It's funny. There used to be a fighter nicknamed the explosive thin man, Alexis Arguello. <laughs> and Gonzalez has been compared to him. Now, if he ends up being one-tenth the fighter Arguello was, he'll have an amazing career. We're talking about an all-time great in Arguello. But similar body, 130 slender, pounds, yep. like Arguello started as a featherweight. So there are some similarities. But, man, Arguello was heavy-handed and he had speed with his punches. We near the end of round one between Gonzalez and Perez. And let's take a look and revisit some of round one. Well, Gonzalez picks his punches very well. Look at how he took a half step back to create room for that right uppercut. That was a beautiful and veteran move by a very young 22-year-old fighter. And there's that shot that he took from but he answered right back yeah he has to be careful you know anytime you fight a veteran and you think you're getting free punches you never know a punch can come back he weathered that with no problem but you can't take it for granted that it's only going to be you doing the punching well, it also shows that he has somewhat of a chin because that was a clean shot by Perez that landed and Gonzalez took it with no problem Round number two, this one is scheduled for six. As Jonathan Perez immediately rises to a stool. Irvin Gonzalez out of Worcester, Massachusetts. Aiming to crack the double digit win mark here in his professional career. You see, he's thinking in there. He's not just coming in blasting away. He's keeping his distance, waiting for opportunities, maybe waiting for Perez to commit first. And there he is going southpaw again. 
Ray, he, imagine if you had to say it every time he does it. You'd be saying nothing else. Yeah, absolutely. He's must have switched Steve about 15, 16 times already. And he's not as fluent southpaw. You can, when he turns southpaw, he, he bends in when he punches. His jab, he doesn't really pop out. Watch when he punches from the southpaw stance. He bends in, head first, nothing but chin. And then he goes back to conventional here. He's a lot more assertive from the conventional stance. He pops his jab more. He gets inside with those hooks that dig into the body of Jonathan Perez. Nice left hook by Gonzalez. Another one. But Perez is sticking and remaining in the pocket. I know Jonathan Perez had landed some nice hooks. But the punch for Perez is the right hand. The right hand is there for him. Even when Gonzalez turns southpaw, the right hand is there for Perez. He's just not pulling the trigger. He, he's lying more on the left hook. See, watch when Gonzalez punch from the southpaw. Southpaw stance. Leans in, chin exposed. Straight right hands. But Perez doesn't have the hand speed to capitalize on it. But Gonzalez continues to pepper Perez with the jab here in the southpaw stance. And he, he squared himself up, and I think he's going back to conventional. He does so. Backing up now, Perez. Big shot by Irving Gonzalez. And anytime you have your opponent against the ropes, what I always look for from young fighters, do they smother their own power? He's not doing that. He's, he's keeping, keeping a good dis distance. Mm -hmm. So he can extend his hands, extend his arms, those long arms. Well, Irving Gonzalez had Jonathan Perez hurt towards the tail end here of the second round, but a big shot by Perez again. So nice little headbutt by Gonzalez. Nice uppercut by Gonzalez. Back comes Perez on the inside. Yeah, Perez is just unable to pull the trigger because the right hand, again, is there for him. And we are headed towards the third. Irvin Gonzalez looking for that 10th victory. He's 9-0 with eight knockouts. And they forgot the mouthpiece from Jonathan Perez. Luckily, Shade Murda saw that. And Gonzalez has landed some bone-rattling uppercuts so wise to be able to make sure to protect the teeth. And back comes Gonzalez. He's walking down Perez with more urgency. One thing about Gonzalez, I'd like to see him tuck his chin in more. It's a little bit out the there. The right hands are there for him. He, oh, nice, a big shot a down goes Perez. It was a right hook. He actually connected in between stints, the right hook. And the doctor's waving it off, Michael Short. Short. This one is over. The 10th victory in the career of Irvin Gonzalez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 42 seconds of round number three. Your winner by knockout. He's still undefeated from Worcester, Massachusetts, Irvin Gonzalez.